saint of the day. Today is September the 2nd, and our saint is Nicholas Lee Kligor. Was born November 14, 1745, son of a bow living in wine merchant. Nicholas was seemingly destined for a career in his father's business, but this was not to be so. After a rather ordinary life as a young man in the French wine district, Nicholas decided to follow a vocation to the teaching brotherhood. Nicholas entered the Novente of the Brotherhood of the Christian School at St. Yen, pictured here in the picture, on March 25, 1767, and took the name Brother Solomon. He was sent to several of the brothers' schools throughout France and experienced the tensions that were driving France in his time. Nevertheless, Brother Solomon remained a man of deep piety, something quite ev evident even in his audio years. His many letters to his brothers and sisters show as individually as deep prayer and piety. Following several years as a teacher, Brother Solomon was selected as director of Novace for his community. Later, he was to serve in the congregation's mother house as processor and finally as security secretary to the Supreme General. In all these positions, Brother Solomon remained an example religious and an individual of deep prayer and genuine piety. He was open to God's grace and compassionate with it unsteadily. It was a time of deep favor among the Christian brothers, so that Brother Solomon was not necessarily outstanding in his piety and holiness. It was the circumstances of the French Revolution that finally led to the great grace of modernism for Brother Solomon. Throughout it all, Brother Solomon demonstrated unflinching courage. In the summer of 1792, following a brief incarceration, Brother Solomon, um, along with a number of other priests, brothers, and religious were sludged in the garden of the Carmenite convert in Paris. He and his companions were beatified 130 years later by Pope Pius XI in 1922. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Brother Solomon's words shortly before his death demonstrated the tendency of his faith. As for us, we hold to what we believed 10 and 20 years ago, to what our forefathers believed 100 years ago and 1,000 years ago, and to that which the whole Catholic world has always believed. Loving God, you you crowned with triumph your martyr, blessed Solomon. You crowned with glory his faith, 
through his intercession, grant that in the confession of the same faith, we too may be found fervent under death. This we ask through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please subscribe.